Okay, this is a quick video about retro achievements and how they work with RetroArch. You can see on the left here, you've got the Retro Achievements website, which is, um, I think it's been going at least a year or so, and it basically lets you run a specific emulator that logs your progress. So as soon as you get to different levels or get, I don't know, so many different coins or get so many points, then it will log um, how well you've done. So you can see and compare with others how many trophies you've got or how many achievements. And you can see that on the left there, you've got various different um, games that are configured for that emulator. And um, you've got a live thread going down here saying what's happening at the time. And the way that this works mainly is to download a specific emulator that they've made and it'll automatically log those achievements. But there's also, I guess it's probably an API or something that RetroArch have hooked into. So you can play your games in RetroArch, but it submits your um, your achievements to the retro achievements section. It's free to sign up, so um, to get the feature functionality, you just um, create a new account up here. I've already created one, so if I log into it now, oops. okay, if I log into it now, you should be able to see that um, if I click my account, it'll show that I've been recently playing Super Mario World on the SNES and Streets of Rage 2 on the Mega Drive. Now I did find, because all of the games that I've tried, I've done through RetroArch, and I did find some of them didn't seem to always log the achievement properly. So it might still be that the I think the integration between RetroArch and Retro Achievements is still improving. In fact, I think it's only in 1.3.0 that RetroArch began that link, so there's probably a few bugs to iron out yet. But by and large, it works really well, particularly I um, found with the Super Nintendo. So I'll try Super Mario World in a moment, and you can see how it works, how it all interacts. But for the moment, you can see under the Super Mario World game, these are the achievements that have been configured. Uh, so I believe I can fly, collect a feather, um, hijack a cloud, collect five dragon coins, and you can see what your goals are, and you can compare it to other people who've signed up or create a sort of friends leaderboard. So it's, it's quite interesting, a good way of logging your progress in different games. Anyway, the point is to show how this works in RetroArch, and obviously RetroArch runs on so many different platforms. Uh, you might have it on your Android um, handheld, you might have it on RetroPie, on a Raspberry Pi, you might have it just play it on Windows. So whatever the method is, as long as you've got at least version 1.3.0, or I guess some of the nightly versions, uh, it will connect. So let's have a look. In RetroArch, you only need a couple of settings and they're quick and easy to set up. So if you go over to um, options or settings and scroll down here the first one you've got here is retro achievements and if I click that you've got two options enable and test unofficial I think test unofficial relates to some achievements that aren't um, necessary well aren't the official ones on the retro achievement site so I'm not going to try that for the minute but you do need this one enable to be on rather than the default that's off so set that to be on then the other setting is user and under user, you get an accounts option, go in there. Then click again and you get an option to see the username and password. So username is, as I signed up there, actually, just type that in. And then password is currently plain text, so um, I guess that might change in the future, but at the moment um, you will see it appear. So I'll just um, enter my password and skip back a step. Okay, so I've entered my username and password there in the system, and that's all you need to do really. So now I'm gonna go back and on the main menu, choose load content, and I'll select file and detect core, uh, the ROMs, and let's try Super Mario World. It seems to work quite reliably with that one. Now, because of the way that I'm recording, it doesn't do favors to the frame rate that I'm recording at, so it's not usually this slow, it's just um, I need to change my settings really, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so now on the um, website over here, Retro Achievements, what I'm gonna do is hit the home page, and if I scroll down on the home page, you should see the live feed, and you should see what the achievements as they, as they happen. So you should see somewhere down here that I've logged in, although I'm not sure, um, because I've logged in earlier, it might not show that again. But, uh, you'll see that update anyway, so you've got the timestamp, and you'll see that move as we go through the game, and it should, as I earn the achievements, uh, pop up on the list. Let's have a go if I earn the achievements, but 
A couple of the easy ones should be doable. Okay, and what you also get when you make the achievement is on the RetroArch screen, um, like an overlay or an on-screen display text, it confirm that you've achieved that um, achievement. So you don't have to, obviously you don't have to have the website open, I've just got that for, for reference, but you see that update in a moment. Okay, so one of the easy ones to get is five of the dragon coins. Um, hopefully I didn't miss one already. I think this is the first one coming up. Okay, one, oh, two. No, I've got two. There, the um, thread just updated with um, other people's progress. Hopefully, if I get th uh, five of these coins, I think that's the easiest one. You'll see that appear and how it works. I haven't put any shaders on this or anything, but um, you get the idea. So any RetroArch installation that's at least 1.3, you should have this feature, and it's um, quite interesting, a great way of logging how it all goes. There's a few more people earning uh, any achievements. And if um, earlier, when I showed you in RetroArch, there's number four, in RetroArch, I showed you how to log into the Retro Achievements. If you don't or can't, do it in that way. You can edit the retroarch.cfg directly, so there's another way of doing it. And I'll show you that. Um, I'll show you that in the description of the video. So check that out if you need the relevant links. But hopefully it should be as easy to set up as as I've shown. And uh, you can all see you know, how far you get in particular games. I thought I was good at some of these games until I started trying this, and it's a lot harder than I thought. It might also help the RetroArch developers if you do find a particular bug, like it's not logging. Maybe there's a, it's worth putting on the forum a post about what works, what doesn't. But I'm sure they'll uh, update. There we go. Unleash the dragon. Bottom left, the text has appeared. I'm hoping on the um, thread on the. There we go. On the website of that. Oh, ah. Okay, two things at once. Um, there. That's what I've just done. So I'm tempted to try and go for another one. And. What? Oh, you can tell the frame rate there is just, or the audio is horrific because I'm capturing it in that way, but ignore it. Uh, some of the achievements I've noticed come up like 99 coins, but it doesn't map to an actual achievement. So I don't know if they're the unofficial ones or what, but you'll see in a minute if I get some more achievements that they appear on the screen, but not on the actual um, website logging them. But clearly that one has, so I've got Unleash the Dragon, I've got three points. Okay. Oh, this is where I'll probably get the 90 nut. Whoa, that's slowed down. There we go, Rich Mario. I don't know if that's the one that's going to pop up on the list or not. 99 coins I've got. There we go, yeah. So I've got Rich Mario has appeared, but I haven't got 99 coins. So there's obviously something different about that one. I think that probably deep at the moment. You get the idea. The more achievements you get, the more it'll be listed and logged. So if I um, on the on the website here, you can see if I go scroll up and click back to my account, I've got eight points at the minute. So that is because I've got five for Rich Mario and the three for Unleash the Dragon. They've gone in colour on that particular um, uh, end of that game, so you can see easily which ones you get. And obviously there's hundreds and hundreds of games that are enabled in this interface. And if you didn't want to use RetroArch for whatever reason, you could always download their own um, emulator that does it automatically as well. So there's options, but it's great that RetroArch now hooked that in. And that's all you have to do with it. Log in and you're away. Anyway, if you've got any questions, um, please put them in the comments uh, and I'll try and help you out. Thanks.